Okay guys, so we're out here at the fifth wheel and we've ran into our first semi-major issue. Uh, I know a lot of people are getting me flack for the fact that I usually say pretty good things about Schwintech slides. However, I'm in the living room area right now and there's two opposing slides that utilize Schwintech tracks on them. And the one here on the road side is having a bit of a problem. So we're in the process of retracting it. Go ahead and retract it. And you'll see this side come out, but then that side start to bind right there. Stop. So this side is coming out, this side is not. It came out about an inch and it won't come out anymore. Um, I've tried to give it a little bit of a tug to see if that might fix it. I can hear the gears on both sides going, but for some reason this side isn't actually coming in anymore. I'm gonna call the folks over at Van Lee, let them know that we have a problem with one of the slide outs. Um, we're just gonna keep these slides out. Thankfully, it's my equipment on this side and I got plenty of space on that side. So we'll just keep these slides out for now until we figure out what's wrong. But yeah, there's a bit of a slide issue. Now, this slide system is a Schwintech slide system. So it's not something that they develop in house. So the problem with it is likely with the slide mechanism itself. It's gonna be really interesting to see what they tell me to do to try to resolve this issue. I have a few ideas, but I don't wanna to try to practice or implement any of them until they tell me. Anyways, guys, I will give you an update on this as soon as they provide me with an update. Before we kick this video off, I want to give a big shout out to the folks over at Nomad Internet for sponsoring this video. Nomad Internet provides truly unlimited 4G LTE internet service that's not throttled, there's no contract, and you can get the right device for the right area that you need because they work with all major carriers. Definitely check them out if you're looking for a good reliable internet service. This is what we use when we're on the road to upload videos and do whatever we need to do on the internet, whether it's Amazon or Netflix. Guys, I'll put a link in the description of this video if this is something you might be interested it in. Again, Nomad Internet. Thank you. Okay, so now we're outside. I'm looking at the slide. The tracks themselves don't look like anything's wrong. Well, I can't really tell from there if there's something in that track or not that's stopping it. It doesn't look like it, but it might be. Up top, I can't tell at all either. Definitely something preventing it from going in. I don't know if it's being jammed by something or if something is actually broken off. It just seems like a little piece of felt or um, like a bushing or a gasket in there to prevent water from getting in. Don't know, but can't close it up. You can see I'm about two feet away from my neighbor and I'm actually still on my side, so that's a good thing. Yeah, we're going to give the folks over at Van Lee a call and see what's going on. Yeah, it's very interesting. And the reason why they use this Schwintech slide system is because it doesn't take up a lot of space. Similar to a cable-driven slide, there's not a lot of space that needs to be taken up underneath. It's pretty much all on the side. In the case of a cable-driven, it's all inside on the top. The Schwintech slide is on the side. I will give you guys an update as soon as I find out what's going on, but I have a feeling we're gonna have to get a technician out here. I've ran the slide in on manual mode, and I'm gonna run the slide out and see what happens here. Okay, so both sides seem to be going out now together. Let's see what happens though when they go out, if I can pull them back in. Chris, can you tell if one side is out further than the other up front? Yeah, yeah it looks like it is on that side, but... Side definitely out further. Oh, really? No, 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 the opposite. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Let it run past. Okay. Well, let me try to retract it now and see what happens. Okay, now it seems like it's coming back in. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do what I what I had heard, where you pull them in about eight to ten inches and then push them back out and hold it for five seconds, just to get it to memorize it. I think you got it said. Lippert said you have to do that three times. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for. Is this number two or number three, Chris? This is number two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, holding it for five seconds. Okay, let me bring it back in. Well, that's weird. Slide behind you ain't moving. Okay, so one of the slides isn't moving anymore. I'm gonna feed that one out. 
Oh, there we go. I think that might have fixed it. You know, Chris, I think what might have been happening was it was so far out of sync that it needed to be ran to its limits. Then once it was at its limits, it kind of refigured out where everything went. Or the motors in them actually started syncing together, but... Okay, they're both almost in. Okay, got them in completely. I'm gonna push them both out. So far, I'm gonna mess with it one more time here real quick. So this is number three as far as putting them out. I'm putting the other slide out. Okay, so I was just on the phone with the technician from Van Lee, and very nice guy. I've actually spoken to a couple of them. And what he basically told me is that at some point, the motors got out of sync. So I need to go through this process to synchronize them. I've known what the process is, and I actually tried it, but it didn't work the way I thought. And he's been working on these a lot more than I have. So he basically said put it in manual mode, which is essentially hitting the reset button underneath six times and then holding it for a seventh for five seconds and then come in run the slides completely in hold the button down for about 10 seconds once it's in put it all the way out do the same thing and then do this thing where you bring it in about eight to ten inches and put it back out and back in back out so the system can learn what its limits are because that's how these work so it appears to be working okay now what might have been the problem is just the fact that the uh the system at one point didn't put one side of the slide out all the way and it got out of sync and once it got out of sync it didn't know how to recover on its own because naturally it's not an intelligent piece of equipment but I'm gonna put them all the way out they're going yeah they're going out evenly now they're all the way out now I'm going to go ahead and pull them back in. And they're both coming back in. You know, anytime you have a slide issue, it's always stressful. Because it can dictate whether you leave a campground or whether you head off camping in the first place. You know, calling the manufacturer and diagnosing it, researching it. Even if you're out of warranty, a lot of times they'll still talk to you and walk you through a procedure that might work. Because, you know, they don't want you to be upset with the product. And, you know, sometimes calling them and not panicking can fix a problem because I thought I knew what to do, right? I've known the manual mode for the brain that controls it. I thought I was doing it the right way, but obviously I wasn't doing something a way that a technician knew how to do it to fix a problem. Right now, everything seems to be working fine. I don't see any issues anymore. Chris, how's it look from the outside? Much better. Much better? Okay, well guys, I think that one wraps this up. I'm really glad we were able to get the slide in. That's a heck of a relief. Anyways, stay tuned for more potential drama. This was an easy one. It was just out of sync. If you have a problem with yours, you know, this is a really quick way to potentially fix it. Thankfully, it wasn't a bad motor or shorted wire or anything like that because those are all possibilities. In the case of uh, my issue, it was just one of the motors was a little out of sync with the other and I had to essentially get the system to relearn what process to go through. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.